Hi everybody, this is Susie and welcome to another design team project for Shabby is Chic Boutique, a Facebook store ran by Amy Love. Today I'm sharing with you, I actually have for my design team project for um, this month, I have a double whammy, so uh, please make sure you see both of my um, my uh, design team projects for Shabby is Chic Boutique. Uh, I have this one here, and there'll be another one that's coming right behind this one. And in both of them, I'll be sure to put uh, each video in the drop-down box, in the drop-down box, so you don't miss anything. So let's get started. I what I had done was here. I, I created this really um, sweet-looking little um, keepsake box, and I, I'll tell you what I had done. It was really, um, it was a little bit of a challenge, but I, I enjoyed making it because I had a lot of extras to work with. Um, this is this is just a regular box that you would buy uh, from any craft store. This one is from Michaels, and what I did was was I added the pegs at the bottom, so I have these really great long legs, like bedroom, like a, you know, anwar type of legs, and it's painted a really nice color, buff pink. And on top of that, I had put some of this um, vintage lace, which is a family lace that I use. It was handed down to me. Um, the whole thing is painted, like I said, and on the base is the vintage lace. And then I added this really pretty feather because it matched so nicely. And um, I'm just going to go what I'm looking at. I'm, I don't want to jump from place to place because there's a lot here. And then I made my own little Marie. Instead of like, you know, printing her out and putting her somewhere, <clears throat> I thought that I would just uh, print out Marie, cut it out, uh, put some Mod Podge over it, and make my own little uh, Marie Antoinette charm with some lace and some bling from Amy Store. And these are so pretty, these little rosettes. I can't believe how great they came out. They were actually attached to this lace here at the bottom. And what I did was I, I have a double row of the lace, one down here and one up here. And what I did was was I just gently snipped off the, all the rosettes and there was like 20 of them. And I sewed them all together and then I sewed a little pearl in the center. So I have one here and one in the back and I'm gonna show you that. I made this really pretty Georgette fabric twisted rose. Love the way that came out some stick pins that I had from a previous project um, and this lace around here is just from my stash and I have that also coordinating down here with some more of the rosette trim and then uh, excuse me the rhinestone trim and then the uh, rhinestone pearl trim here uh, going around the bottom of the opening which the inside is also painted at the bottom here I have another very pretty buff colored fabric trim from the shop and I just added a couple of stray uh, pinkish colored uh, pearls that I had. And then this beautiful rose gold uh, metal bow that has rhinestones in it already. I just added that on just to give it that really nice Victorian touch. And I'm going to turn this around. I mean, you can name it whatever you want, but I named it Victorian. And I put Aunt Marie Antoinette because I've been crafting Marie Antoinette for many years and this is the style that I like so I just added her photo because my whole room is Marie and just turning this around so you can see the side I have here here's the the flower that I made and then here's the other uh, rosette that's behind that and you can see the stick pin and way over here if you look I did a double side of that um, Marie charm that I made so she's on both sides with the feather and some pearls and then you see this uh, this crinkly bow that I made from some seam binding and then there's the back there's another bow from seam binding it looks just so pretty like with a little slit like in the back of a gown almost if you would so I thought that was really pretty and a little tiny mulberry paper bow just love the way this came out it was really really pretty honestly I just you know I love to do a tutorial <laughs> But I change my mind so much. I don't know if any of you will like that. That my tutorial will probably be about ten tutorials and like five hours long each one because I'm always I have to make this a flower, I have to do this, and I change it. I can't find something. 
So I just take my time as I'm going along and just share with you the finished product, which I hope you enjoy seeing. Um, everything will be in the drop-down box below here where you can shop and see more still life photos of mine and where you can find me online. And this is really it in the in the uh, the background. You'll see in some of my photos that I have a lot of feathers. So I have some really pretty uh, propped feathers here that I use for photo shoots in my studio for my uh, crafts. And um, that's basically it. So I hope you enjoy seeing this really beautiful Marie Antoinette style Victorian keepsake box. And I hope you all are having a great day. Please stay tuned for the uh, double whammy coming. Bye.